Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be teaching you on how to create multiple lines. Right now our program is blank but we're going to add lines to it and the first line is going to be going to be a horizontal line across the program. So let's make that happening. Import a library called graphics so Type in java.awt.graphics. If if you want to color, then type in the color library as well. Color. And once you get that done, now let's make a paint method. If you don't have a public or not public, if you don't have a paint method, then your program or your graphics won't work at all. So keep that in mind. Paint. And have your object graphics or yeah, graphics. G. So we're getting this from the from the library. So, all right, this is the time where we make the lines. So the first line is going going to be g dot draw line. Uh, the x axis. Oh yeah, we have four arguments here. The first two arguments will be the the initial position, and the last two will be the final position. Final positions, I mean. So basically, basically, on what we're saying here, it's like saying we're going from point A to point B. So for the first one, the x axis is going to be zero, and this right here in the y axis is going to be 480. For the final x position axis, is going to be 960. As you can see, the maximum width is 960. So we type that in, and this uh, the final y-axis position is, is going to be the same because we want the horizontal line. So we got that done. All right, cool. Yep, we got a horizontal line. Now let's create a hor or not horizontal. A diagonal line that goes from here to here. So let's do draw, G draw line. So the first two arguments will be zero, and the last two will be 960 since we're making a diagonal line. And now have a make sure you have a semicolon. Compile it and run. Now we have a diagonal line. I want to see what happens if we move it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got a diagonal line. It's pretty cool. But now let's add a random line number or random line. So right here, this right here is going to be to 400 or 300, I mean, 300, 300. Uh, this right here is going to be the final one. It's going to be uh, to 500 and do 100 right here. So we're good right now. So let's run it. Now we have three lines, and this line right here intercepts intercepts at this point right here, and the line stops after that. So it's pretty good, and yeah, this line connects to each other. Yep. Well, now let's add the colors to our line. So for the first line, let's make it red. G dot set color and color dot red. 
All right. Well, now let's make another line or color line. Paste because we want we we don't want everything to be red, so we gonna override that by using blue. Same thing goes for the next line. We want to override the blue line to make it green. So do green. So now let's look at it. Now we have a colorful line or colorful lines.